Good morning, fiddlers. Welcome to today's challenge. We're going to focus today on slow practice, which a lot of people think, oh, I just want to get the song up to speed. Why do I have to play it so many times slow? My take on that is the more you can practice it slow, the more naturally you'll get it up to speed. And the reason for that is because your left and right hand coordination will be so solid, you will absolutely have a great grasp on your left hand notes, but the coordination of moving the bow in coordination with the left hand movement. So you're going to get a clean movement in the right hand with a clean movement in the left hand. So every single note lines up and there'll never be a blur between a bow change and a note. So if you can play a thousand times slow, you'll have no problem up to speed. And it doesn't seem like a natural correlation, but it, I promise you it absolutely works. So today, use this exercise in fun. And what I mean by that is if you're playing the bridges full of stitches, turn it into an air. So play with the rhythm for it. If you're playing Cape Breton's Welcome to the Shetland, um, to the Shetland Isles, play it as a march. Same thing with um, La Belle Catherine. Turn it into kind of a melodious march or into an air. So for, how would I do that? Bridges full of stitches would become becomes left and right hand coordination. For a faster reel, it might be. with it. Play with the rhythm a little bit. Use a lot of rubato, taking your time with the, the notes. But your focus is making sure that when you change bow direction, your fingers are going down at the same time. So that coordination is really precise. So that is today's challenge. If you have any questions, please come on over to modelfiddler at gmail.com and drop me a note. Or if you feel uh, up to it, send me a note or a paste a video at the Facebook um, Model Fiddlers page. We'll see you tomorrow.